Concorde 002 at Fairford this morning as technicians prepared for the Duke of Edinburgh's prestige flight in the prototype aircraft as the sales drive for the £12 million plane builds momentum. The Duke was escorted onto Concorde by the British Aircraft Corporation's chief test pilot, Brian Trubshaw. Already, 002 has made more than 150 flights. But as it taxied before takeoff and ahead of schedule came the first of the morning's problems. A puff of smoke from one of the undercarriage sections of four tyres. A few seconds later, and again, another puff of smoke. With more warning lights showing in the cockpit, Brian Trubshaw brought the aircraft back to the apron. After one more taxiing run, the engines were shut down and Prince Philip left the aircraft. It was then announced that if the fault could be repaired and a runway crosswind didn't get much fiercer, the flight would take place in the afternoon. Fault stemmed from an electrical failure in the anti-skid unit that caused a wheel to lock. A new wheel unit was put on. After lunch, there were no gremlins, and the Duke took off without a hitch for a flight over the regular VIP run, the Bay of Biscay. 